All right, haves and have not fans. Now, this particular video was kind of a, I wish we could have had this one scene in the finale. And I even made a post about this on Instagram that did pretty well, all things considering. You know, I didn't really expect it to get as many likes and comments as it did. But to be fair, I did post it like, you know, only a couple days after the, uh, <laughs> finale so i feel like that's probably why people are like yeah we should have got it we needed everything we could have in order to uh you know get the most out of that final episode and the post in question was about you know i'd like to think hannah stopped by the jail to let Derek know the bad news about their daughter getting murdered and you know that had over 400 likes and you know a bunch of cast members like that post because uh yeah, I thought it was a pretty good idea. I mean, the fact that Derek just went ahead and um, got put in jail. He got arrested. What was it at the be? And correct me if I'm wrong, but he got arrested at the beginning of this final season, uh, season eight, episode one. And I'm like, well, we're not going to follow up on that. And I mean, um, Wyatt was right across from Catherine in the jail. So it was like, this jail doesn't give a damn about a woman's wing or a male's wing. So what if Derek was right across from, um, Catherine, then they would have a heart to heart because remember those two really didn't discuss much after it was discovered that he was the man that raped Hannah. It was just, you know, um, Catherine pretty much saying, don't say, don't see, don't talk to Hannah at all. So it really sucks. But it would have been a hell of a, a hell of an emotional moment. Like, remember, I said like it would have been incredible to have like a montage at the end of the episode where Hannah's like, you know, reciting the Lord's uh, the Lord's prayer, or I keep saying the Lord is my shepherd when it's the Lord's prayer. I'm sorry, um, or you know, even like a song or even something along those lines, like the haves and the have-nots to be implemented in some sort of speech where the haves and have-nots is mentioned, and you know, we could have seen Hannah going to different places or even like the bodies of you know like jeffrey and you know jim david everybody who's dead just being discovered and you know b the funerals and everything like that and character reactions like this happens in a lot of movies even in tyler perry films where we are shown instead of told what's happening and then um a moment where you know hannah goes to see Derek in jail just to let him know that their daughter is dead and that could have been, I'm not saying these two should have reconciled, but at the same time, it's like, you know, for Hannah to put these, you know, Ka uh, Candace to rest, but also to put a re put to rest her um, relationship with Derek and the fact like, this is the last time you'll ever see me. I just wanted to make peace, knowing, you know, to let you know our daughter's gone. And I'm not saying these two would have bonded or anything, but there would have been a shared um, loss because keep in mind, Derek just found out he had a daughter with Hannah and he tried to reconcile with her or meet with her and she literally said I don't want to have anything to do with you and then he ends up losing her so there's that aspect of it so I think there really should have been a scene where Hannah went to jail went to the jail to tell Derek what happened to their daughter and then you know as soon as he finds out it was Jim Cryer then he would have been like you know what, I want to handle it, I want to take care of it, and it's like, I already did. What? I killed him. That would have been something else. So I think that we were robbed of a lot of things, actually, in that finale, but of getting closure on this particular storyline, because, I mean, to be completely honest, uh, I know that Charles had a hell of a lot of fans, mainly due to his connection to Candace, but... Derek had a much bigger storyline which was connected to the actual characters of Hannah and Candace yet at the end of the day he was just I I guess you could say dropped off the train like you know uh well the he was just a package dropped off the UPS truck in the middle of transport and the driver just kept on going it's like well damn I mean hell not to mention his connection to Samuel and Laura scamming Veronica and then how that went so I just feel like there should be one hell of a scene that we could have gotten that could have been emotional, like a definite um, scene of emotion where Keith broke down as Derek, so to lose a daughter. Remember, he has three sons, and, you know, it was like, how do they feel about their dad being arrested? We'll never know. All right, guys. Well, that's all I got to say in this particular video. What do you think? It would have been great to see these two, you know, 
reconnect in this one scene. Hell, I bet Samuel and Laura probably would have went to the jail just to say Veronica's dead. Now what do we do? It's like we got her account numbers, but, you know, I think Laura said she need her social security number and then they will be gone. But since Veronica's dead and remember Hannah was having all of her stuff taken away anyway, those two were a non-factor. But in any case, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think this scene could have been great? Honestly, I feel like this scene would have been miles more emotional and needed as opposed to, let's say, Charles meeting with Hannah. So let's talk about it below. And with that being said, I will catch you all in the next video.